Welcome back. On the 4th of June this year, a group of four people left Pretoria to walk to Cape Town to raise awareness around cancer. The group, called, calling themselves Like a Rock, took their final steps on Sunday and finished their almost two-month marathon hike at the VNA waterfront. Our city spoke to the group about their walk and the cause. Let's have a look. Could you please introduce yourselves to the viewers? Okay, good day. We are the Like a Rock team. Um, I'm the organizer and the spokesperson of the team. And then my name is Betty Jacobs. Um, then we've got Balsi Barnard, our representative of the disability side. I'm, um, I'm the one for the cancer. And then we've got our support staff, Harry, John, Harry or Don. Um, the reason why we had to have a support call with us is because we um, both sick. I mean, Bossy is in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. I've been diagnosed with cancer in February um, again. So we do take it in consideration that one of us can get sick on the road and then um, we need somebody to take us to hospital mm -hmm. and that was the reason for it. I, I would say we started on the 4th of June. The aim was to walk in 30 days um, but we actually didn't take in consideration like foot rest and then um, cold flus. Um, we thought okay it is winter time but what the hell we started off with nothing mm -hmm. and we end up with nothing but it's not about having funds mm -hmm. it's about the fight and about the cause mm -hmm. i walked for cancer and bossy did the disability side um, we were absolutely blessed on our road we met the best of best people and up till today, we still believe that we met the right people. Um, God put the right people on our path. We, we didn't have a place to stay. And that was the first challenge coming up, um, that we have to become like beggars. But people just open up their hearts, their homes, um, and up to Cape Town. We never struggle with a place to sleep. We never struggle with food because I think um, the humbleness, we weren't arrogant, never ever been arrogant. And every morning we prayed, every of, uh, a night when, before we go to bed, we, we sat together and we say thank you for the day. I would honestly say that I've been told by this walk that we've walked, that there is actually people that care. They just have to reach out. And everybody does care some other way. It's just a matter of reach out to them. And then the, the people from oncology, they, their job is to care. And uh, believe me, they do care. And uh, our walk is just to prove our appreciation to those people who do care. Oh, that's my side. Obviously, my sister's also been losing a breast because of uh, cancer, and I've been sitting by her side. But unfortunately, I'm working jobless, so unemployed. So uh, what I could do is just get into this, help my brother-in-law, ex-brother-in-law, and Betty assist him with the the standby vehicle. And uh, yeah, uh, honestly, there's a God up in heaven, and Absolutely. we found Him. Mm -hmm. Found our, we, we found mm -hmm. each other, oh, and we yeah. found lots of people that care, mm -hmm. especially in this place. Well, there's various places that I can mm -hmm. mention, but truly, what I've learned from this experience is that there's people that care, mm -hmm. that really care. Please, just never give up. Mm -hmm.